Hey there everyone, it's Ravindri here back with another video. In today's video, we are going to see how you can log your information in .NET Core with a third party logging library called Serilog. Although we have some other popular options like Log4Net and Nlog, but we are going to focus only on the Serilog in this video. By using these libraries, we have multiple options for logging, like we can log into console, we can log into file or we can log into even a database and in this video we are going to learn how we can log our information in a console and in a file also if you find this video helpful then don't forget to hit that like button so let's get started without any delay now you can we can create this project from visual studio also but it is a lengthy process and by creating with cli is much more easier and much faster so i'm going to use cli you can use the visual studio options also and we are going to create a project with web apis so i'm going to type here dot net new and type of project which is web api o flag and the name of the folder i'm gonna name it a oh, serilog demo so it will be serilog demo now it will create a project for us and it is downloading some stuff and okay now we can move into this location and we will see a project has been created here so go to this folder and click on this serilog demo.exe or csproj file, whatever it is. Okay, so let's click on this and this project will be open in Visual Studio. So now I don't need this terminal now. Okay, now our project has created and it is our solution explorer. First and foremost, we are going to install some packages. So go to here in the tool section and go to the package manager, package manager console, and just type here this command, install package serilog.aspnet core. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in. Okay, so install package serilog.aspnet core. Press enter and it will install a package for us. To log information into file, we need some more packages like this install package serilog.sings.console. It is for console logging. And one more package serilog.sings.file. It is for file logging. Okay, so now everything is fine. So let's go to the application setting.json and we do not need this. We can comment this thing, this line also. Okay, so, okay, now we do not need these lines. Fine, now here we can go here into the program.cs file and here we can write some lines. So we're gonna do some configuration here on the top of the file. So first of all, add these two lines, then this, then this and this and at last we are gonna write here create logger and it is not going to log anywhere so i'm just gonna write here write to and dot console so for now we are going to log into console so that is fine and we need to add a line here just below this builder instantiation builder dot services dot add something like that serilog do we have this thing no and actually it is builder dot host dot serilog and why i am not getting this builder dot host dot serilog okay use serilog fine now by adding this line we can log our information into the console 
now here we are going to test this thing is it working or not for that we are going to write here log dot logger dot information and logging is working fine okay so now let's test our application so let's run this project and we will see into a console that it is working fine or not our project has created successfully and you can see that it is logging this thing here okay so absolutely fine now we can write here new compact json formatter something like that actually let's see what so let's see if press control dot okay so using serilog dot formatting dot compact okay so it will add this line here now we will see what is happening here so here we have this time stamp and here the message now let's try to log the information in the controller so here let's see let's create a new controller here that will be api controller and mpt1 okay so let's name it to person controller just change it to person controller so person controller and now here we are going to define a constructor so type here ctor double tap and it will create an instructor for us type here i logger and here pass this thing person controller okay and here we can type logger press control dot and create an assign logger okay and remove this thing and edit this name okay now we are fine so let's create a method here so public i x and result get just type here http get okay and type a try catch block here and here we can see int a equals to 5 int c equals to a by 0 and it will throw a divide by 0 exception so return okay from here which is not going to happen and return an error message status code five double zero okay now here we can log our error so logger dot log error and we can pass ex dot message okay so let's try to run this method we are here in the browser window and open this thing try it out press the execute button and here we have this nice undocumented 500 status code and we are getting this thing okay now we can move here we can see that we are getting this error here in the controller person controller it is our request id it is our request path and it is our connection id so let's close this thing and if we want to log some other things like machine id and the environment which is development right now 
so we can log these things with the help of enrichers so let's see how we can use enrichers here so open your package manager console and install this package serilog.enricher.thread and we need to install two more packages so second one will be process and third one will be environment environment okay so our desired packages has been installed now come back to the program.cs file once again and we need to write some lines here so just add this line for logging the thread id this line for logging process id this for environment name which is development in our case right now and the machine name so we will also log this information right now so let's run this project and check this thing out now here we can see that this additional information like process id environment name machine name and thread id so now we need to do one more thing which is logging to the file so let's see how we can log into the file so for that we need to write here so let's copy this thing and rather than write to console we will write to file okay now we need to provide some additional information like path and we will provide a path which will be log and log.txt log.txt so it will create a file for us inside a log folder okay and here we need to add one more thing which is rolling interval and it will be one day okay so that is it and now if we remove this thing from here it will also be fine so yeah now what we need to do we need to test this application and as we can see we don't have any log file here right now and it has created a log folder now because it has logged this information okay so now let's run this api click on execute and we can see here in the console we have logged this information and we have logged this information as well as in file so if we go there in the log section and here here we have all this information so here that is our information which was logging was working fine and here we have another log entry here is timestamp here is message rem divided by zero it is an error source context say log dot demo dot controller dot person controller it is our action id action name and request id request path connection id thread id these are these information are provided by enricher thread id process id environment name and here the machine name okay so that was all about the logging with serilog i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed this channel you can subscribe it also and i will see you next time